Hey guys, welcome back to my channel with your girl Lulu. I'm here with another collective message. If you're new here, hi guys, welcome, 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 welcome to the family. Um, I hope that you guys all find this message is helpful. You find this some clarity through these messages. And just as I was about to get started, once again, some background mu music started over here. So, I'm getting with that. that somebody's trying to distract you from getting things done. Period. Something's being sent to you to distract you. Somebody's doing something to distract you. But I hope you guys don't hear it. Because, you know, you know how YouTube does. I don't want no copyrights or none of that. So, hope you guys don't hear it. It is all the way in the background. So, that's why I decided to continue to do the messages. But... Um, I hope that you find this helpful and take what applies. If it don't resonate, let it fly. Okay? And I came into this reading knowing that it was going to be drama. Gossip, toxic, and chaotic things coming up. I already knew that. So I prepared myself for that. So get ready for that. Trigger warning. But let's see. I want to know, spirit, because I kept hearing drama, drama, or trauma, and I can all I can also keep hearing um, baby mama, baby daddy, so it could be baby mama, baby daddy drama, for some, not all. Uh, I also heard just family drama, point blank. But let's see what comes through, right? So, what does the collector need to know? What's this drama about? What do they need to know in here today? What's this drama that needs to be heard about today? For everyone that comes across this video, what do they need to know? Okay. Thank you. All right, first card ow Oof. we got the seven of cups but in reverse hopefully you guys can see it there okay so right away like collective you could be feeling a lot of confusion there there could be illusions due to this drama or because of this drama or it could be illusions that were sent to you like meaning evil eye whether it was done consciously or unconsciously something was sent towards you to make you feel confused and make you feel like there's something you don't see that's happening you also got here the ace of cups in reverse as well i'm telling you so i want to go in depth with this reading so i'm going to take my time if i do stay quiet for a second or two or, two, or just a couple of seconds is to hear out the message that is being sent to me so just be aware of that I'm hearing they're trying to mess with your relationship. So this could be uh, like, you know, if this is your baby mom's or baby daddy that we're talking about here, um, I feel like there's something being sent because of a third party being involved. They're trying to cause a breakup here. I'm also hearing they're trying to make you feel like there's something happening when there's really nothing happening between the third party and your person. So be cautious of that. Okay, I just heard a phone call or text message. There could be certain messages or phone call your, your person could be getting right now from this third party to make it look like they've been talking or they've been dating or going out or something's been happening between them 
when really there's nothing been going on. They're trying to make you feel confused here. I feel like a lot of you guys are very empathic and very intuitive naturally. And specifically with your person. Like, for some of you guys, this could be a family member, right? Or even a friend. But someone that you're really close to. Okay? This could be a B BFF or, like, your A1. Take it as a resonates and it applies. But I'm getting that you are very connected to this person, whoever this is to, to you. And you're very impacted to their emotions and feelings. You're very intuitive. So, you constantly, like know how they're feeling even when you're not around them is what I'm getting you're very aligned with this person but this third party here is, that's causing drama or is trying to make this drama come up for some of you guys it could be coming up take it as it applies okay they're trying to cause confusion here and illusions for you to think that there's something going on when it's really not. They want a new start with your person, maybe. And, like, to break up the relationship with you. Because they see you guys doing good. Like, you guys have a good connection. You guys are feeling good about yourself. You guys are maybe even letting it be known to others that you guys are in a good space with your partner. Or maybe your partner is doing this as well. And they want to affect that. They want to cause drama. They want to cause chaos. We also got here the handman in reverse. We got all these cards in reverse for you, collective, today, which is what was really going on. Like, what is it with this third party? Like, recently I've been getting a lot of like chaotic toxic third parties trying to get involved in relationships or or in you know even in friendships or even come in between family members like what be going on through their head like you really think you can cause a breakup between two people that have a strong bond a, a soul connection whether this is your family member friend or a lover it doesn't really matter okay soul connections could be with anyone So they're trying to cause the delays with the handman here. They're trying to cause assistance in the relationship. Maybe for your person to start stalling or make them feel like they 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 don't know what decision to make. There could be a fear of sacrifice here, whether this is happening for your person or for you. But I feel like it's coming from the third party trying to cause this effect on your person. For them to have fear in the relationship or like lack of control when it comes to the, the emotions here. I feel like they're either trying to affect your person and it's affecting the both of y'all because obviously you have a strong bond and strong connection. But there's resistance here. There's delays to this this sent to you. I feel like this this could be EY for a lot of you guys, but this could also be spell work, it could be candle work, it just you know, into the witchcraft. Whatever it is there is this third party's into. This there also could be going to a person here. It doesn't necessarily be have to be them doing it themselves they could be paying someone to do this for them and they're like trying to make themselves be noticed for you to be aware of them to cause confusion in your relationship let's see what else we got here we also got the three of wands in reverse i'm telling you this person whoever this is they playing games with the wrong one because I feel like you collective, you're very intuitive. And you're a divine being here with a purpose. 
you're very spiritual you're connected with the divine with spirit the universe and you know spirit the universe the divine don't play with their special unique people that they connect with and i feel like you're one of them you're somebody that has a lot of intuition maybe you also channel whether you know this or not you get intuitive notches They want to, they, this third party wants there to be lack of planning or lack of foresight in the relationship here with your partner or with you. Not, not necessarily like for it to be something where you guys just break up out of nowhere, but eventually in the long run you will eventually get un unexpected delays obstacles you know certain changes lack of planning things out with your partner here mm -hmm. they want they want look the five the five of wands in reverse i feel like this person wants <laughs> to for there to be conflict delays lack of commitment with your partner from your partner with you okay they want that effect but i feel like your partner is actually just avoiding conflict they're agreeing to disagree because they feel like there's something off as well so you could be feeling like there's something off and your person could be as well they might not be telling you this, but they feel it. Let's see what else. Ooh, that is way too many spirit. Can we get just one at a time for the collective here? The thing for this video. What else do they need to know? We're gonna further clarify, of course. We're gonna get into it, baby. We wanna know it all today. Let's see what else we got here. What? The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. I'm telling you. Is it in reverse? Yes, it's in reverse too. All these cards in reverse. This is crazy. Do I have the deck reverse? No, I don't. Because look at what's in the back of the deck upright. The Eight of Swords. Alright. So, collective. You might be feeling rest restless, unfocused, burnt out. There could be some impulsive discussion or disagreements with your partner here. You, you could be feeling like your partner is unpredictable right now. There could be a lack of direction between you guys in the relationship. Or this could also be with your friend, like I said, or a family member, whoever your person is to you. This could also be your person feeling like this, like they're rest restless and burned out. And I feel like Spirit wants you to know it's because of this third party being, you know, like feeling like they could actually cause drama and affect you guys in the relationship here. And they're trying to do it fast because maybe there was some type of reconciliation with your partner here. Or with your friend, you know, there was some, some time off. Maybe something happened and you guys reconciled. So this person is like, oh, no, I got to put in more work. So this could all come to an end for you and your person. Look, we got the Eight of Swords and, re and upright, I'm sorry, in the back of the deck, right? I feel like there's a lot of negativity being sent to you and to your partner as well, okay? There's definitely a lot of negative thoughts that's, that could be evil eye. They, they could be also, like I just heard, journaling what they will want to happen, which is another method of manifestation. So that could be something that they're doing. I also heard they're going to somebody. So they could be going to like. Excuse me. I have to drink some water. This. This. Bitch. 
or this dude, this, whoever this is, is thirsty as fuck for your person. Like, I feel like this could be an ex. This could also be somebody that they left dumb for you, I just heard. Period. <laughs> Regardless, they're definitely very thirsty. I keep getting thirsty. I was just holding it off, but I couldn't hold it no more. They are thirsty for your person. I just heard something else could have happened. Like, okay, so they could have been with your person a long time ago. And uh, that mean your person broke off. And they decided to be with somebody else. And then you came along the picture and they had no control of your person no longer. So they felt like, oh my God, I got to get back to it. Like, I got to get to texting and calling this person because I don't want to lose them, even though they have somebody else. So no, this fool already has somebody else point blank. They just don't want to lose your person. They want to have some type of control here. And they, they're willing to sacrifice whatever it takes, money time effort energy to get this this result that they're trying to seek which they're never going to get because i feel like you're fully protected you're somebody that's very special very intuitive if you're not working on protecting yourself please start doing so because this person is not going to stop okay i feel like they could have been doing this for a long time with other people with your person before you even came along i just heard but let's go ahead and further clarify here to see what else needs to come through right because we want to know all the business today okay I don't know who these fools are, but they definitely need to get their life together. Because why do you have time to do all these negative things to people? Do you not want good for yourself? Don't you know what karma is? Everyone should know what karma is already. Like, come on. You should be out there doing what's best and for the highest good of all. So that you get the same in return. Period. Spirit, can you please clarify the seven of cups in reverse for us here? We want to know why this person is trying to cause confusion to my collective and their partner. Can we get some more information? We got the three pentacles. And the six of swords. Because they want to collaborate with your person. They want to communicate with your person. They want to be able to feel assured. And because they think, I'm hearing, they think that who they're going to or the information that they're getting, right, is what's best and for the highest good of all. But baby, if you're working against somebody else's will, it's not gonna, gonna be for the highest good, good of all, okay? You're causing downfalls, you're causing delays, you're causing restriction. You're trying to invite yourself into a relationship where you don't fit in. Can we get more clarification here on the Three of Pentacles and Six of Swords here? Thank you. We got the Ten of Swords. With the king of wands in the back of the deck. The signs I see here before I keep on is Scorpio. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, strongly. We also got here, let me see. We also got some fire, which is Sagittarius, El Arias Leo, and we also got Capricorn and Aquarius. 
So that could be in your chart, your person's chart, or in this person, this third party energy. Okay? Ooh, why did that turn off? We're going to keep going anyway because you can still definitely see me. But period, this person is trying to get your person to move to common waters with them because they feel like they've been hurt. Or like something that happened in the past. What happened in the past? Or what happened in this past? I feel like your person could have cheated on, on this person. Your person could have cheated on this person and they, they left them behind. Ten of Pentacles, yeah, they wanted a family with your person, and your person did not, they didn't actually, like, I, I, okay, I'll take that back. Maybe your person did want a family with them too, but something happened, there was a judgment call being made here, or that was made here in that relationship. Either your person was cheating or this person was cheating. And I feel like it was coming off from the third party. Um, your like your person left this third party because they were a cheater and they thought they could get up get away with murder. But there was a judgment call that was made. Something was found out here. Or your person found out about this person cheating and thinking they could get away with murder with you with with your person. But let's see, what's this eight of cuffs in reverse here, spirit? This is the Ace of Cups. The Fool. We got the Fool here. With the Ace of Pentacles in the back of the deck. I feel like this person is taking the risk again. Because they want a new start with your person. It, it, yeah, look. The Ace of Cups as well. They want your your person's love and they want your person's finance as well your person could be somebody that's well off oh thank you we also got here the seven of pentacles with the nine of pentacles i'm, I'm saying your person could be somebody that's very well off here so they know how hard they work they know what they that your person has put in a lot of work and uh, they have grown okay they have grown their personal business so they got a lot of income here they got wealth somebody that's respected of high status businessman businesswoman can you please further clarify here the seven of pentacles with the full the Ace of Cups in reverse. What's that about? Thank you. We got the Four of Swords with the Emperor in reverse in the back of the deck. Yeah, it's like this person wants to continue taking the risk because they know what your person is about. But they know they need to show because they're gonna make your person actually lose like and i feel like you are getting intuitive nodges nodges or intuitive feelings about something that's going on maybe your person's not telling you because they know how you are and what you're about but they 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 definitely getting signs and symbols as well to stop playing with you. Because then you're not to play with. Spirit, can we please clarify the handmaid? That was fast. In reverse. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Yo, this person, whoever this is, they might not be financially stable, right? Because they want to get money out of your person too. Like not just love. Not just them bad. But they they not financially stable. And they're willing to spend money on whatever it is that they think they're investing in. To get your person back. So they could be stable. Because they know that your person is stable financially. Can we get more? Can we please clarify the Knight of Pentacles here? Three of Swords. Yeah, they know. They know that you know 
or they they know that you they know that you will break their heart in a way or wait did I say that wrong okay sorry so spirit said no <laughs> sorry spirit okay so they know that your person is not going to be willing to break your heart is what I'm getting okay that your person is willing to break their heart but not yours you are the high priestess you're somebody of high honor okay you you have inner knowledge you also have a lot of uh, intuition you're very intuitive you're giving boss this energy as well can you please try to clarify the knight of pentacles with the three of swords here king of swords and they know that your person is going to be straight up and tell them like no i'm moving away from you like i don't want nothing to do with you I already told you this. I've been telling you this. Why don't you get it, you fool? <laughs> like, whoever this person is needs to chill. Because they're coming in between a strong bond, a very strong connection that nobody can break. No matter what you do, no matter how much money you try to invest in it. Like, you're losing your money, boo. Can you please clarify the three of wands here, Spirit? We got the page of swords. Mm-hmm. So they're going to try something different is what I'm getting here with this. With the five of cups in the back of the deck, what I'm getting for you collective, you might hear from this third party. Okay? They might have like evidence or what they think is evidence, but make sure you check everything because I'm hearing like they're going to like do some technical I don't know, something about technical or like old messages. They're going to act like it's new. So they could act like your person is hurting you. And that there's a third party involved. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's giving, they're trying to trap your person with them. And I feel like this could be somebody that you already like dealt with or known about. So they're try, they're going to try to like talk to you and like bring more confusion more illusions okay they're gonna try to like test you or even call you and be like oh i got evidence of your man or your wife or your girl your your husband whatever it is for you or your bf talking shit about you or like you know them like downgrading you it could be anything but they gonna try to like affect you can you please further clarify the page of source here? This got spicy. Four of Cups. You're going to be like, okay, and what you saying? Like, how do I know this is not you trying to cause some more bullshit in my life? Yeah, that, I know that's right. Like, you, you, you ain't about to give in right away. You're about to have... You're about to look at them just like this lady's looking at that one cup coming out of the sky. Like, really? You think that's going to affect me? You think that's going to cost me to break my bond? You making this judgment call and your spirit guides, your ancestors, they're going to be like, I know my baby ain't about to fall for that. Can you please further clarify the four cups of the page of swords here, spirit? into the first sorry excuse me that is confirmation though but we also got here the queen of cups to further clarify which tells me what with the king of wands again which tells me what that you know you're not about to give in to that you're gonna be like all right baby you 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 need to go rest go go to sleep on that like take a chill pill you still on this i thought we were both you were above this, that you were past this. I thought you have been trying to do this to us. Because I feel like me, me saying that this happened before. This person tried to cause drama between you and your BFF. This person tried to cause drama between you and your man. This person tried to cause drama between you and your family member. Whoever this is, they've been trying to cause drama. And they do petty shit. Like, they do be doing dumb shit to try to get at you. They be trying to, like, say... 
oh, this person was talking shit about you, they were bashing you, and here you are defending them. Or I got evidence of this person saying this and that. Or I know this person did this, and you trying to, like, feel like they're loyal to you. You have no idea, the, like, that type of thing. But, Spirit, can you please clarify the Knight of Swords? Six of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords in reverse, right? So, the fact that you, they were trying to, like, make y'all feel restless and burnt out and get impulsive with your person or your person with you and for y'all to have disagreement and not, not be able to communicate, have delays, you know, break the bond. They were trying to break this bond to have resistance and fear. What's actually going to happen is the total opposite. You and your person is going to be given and receiving. And this person is going to be in the everything is fine car. Yeah, they're going to act like everything is fine. But they're really feeling hurt. They're going to be looking at y'all over the phone. Like, oh, they're going out together. Oh, he just gave her that. Oh, they just moved in together. They're going to feel like, oh, damn, everything I'm doing now is not working. Yup, look, the Ace of Swords, and there's going to be clarity on this. There's going to be clarity with this person. There's going to be clarity with your person as well. If there was a lack of money recently between you and your person in the household or just with your person, that's going to be relieved. There's going to be doors opening up. Everything's going to change soon. Can you please clarify the six? Of Pentacles with the Ace of so Ten of Cups. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> with the um, Death card in the back of the deck. So no matter what it is they try to do, you guys are gonna be end up happy with this person, your family member, your friend. This bond is unbreakable. They can't get in between it. They can keep trying no matter what. It ain't happening. Not for my collective. No, no, no. I feel like you guys are going to start working more on your protection as well. And with the death card here, this is going to cause the transformation when it comes to your relationship. Like, if you felt like it was dying off, it's about to spark that thing up. Like, like that flame again. Okay? Because y'all going to feel like, damn, she going that far to break us up? Or she, they going, it could be a he as well. Uh, and we're just reading energies here. But, um, they definitely went this far to try to break us up. We must definitely have a divine connection to have this person constantly, like, want to break us up. Or come between us. Or cause drama. Like, we really must be special. I feel like they're gonna bring clarity to the relationship. And they're gonna see this as well. I feel like they're gonna have to see this. That's gonna be their karma to see y'all happy. Because they try to do all of this to y'all. And it's just what it wasn't it's not meant to work out. You can't fuck with a divine connection and think that it's gonna work out and not <laughs> And not get bashed or karma from it. So I'm hearing this person could be getting their karma now. And it's not looking good for them, baby. But you're also going to see that. You're also going to have some type of person come to you. Or a message. Some type of picture. There's something that you're going to see collective that's going to let you know that they're receiving their karma for doing or trying to do this to you and your person. And they're going to be seeing y'all, you and your person, celebrating being uni reunited or like, you know, just happier, stronger, closer, <laughs> and giving it all for each other, period. 
so i don't feel like you need to be like very very oh my god someone's doing something to me no okay no you are divinely guided you're fully protected you could take some steps to further protect yourself because like i said this is a divine connection so you're gonna have more people just like this third party that's trying to get involved do the same thing because they're gonna be like oh my god like you guys have bright like you guys are so bright and then the connection together is so bright and so strong that people are gonna naturally envy it so you're gonna have more than one person come towards y'all like this or are like try to do this in one way or another so you just need to be cautious and you need to talk to your person about this so you guys both protect each other and the bond that you has have together the soul contract and all of that why not okay and make sure that you your household is also protected as well as you know everyone you come across because you never know who's going to try to send you the evil eye or do some spell work behind your back because they hand. okay this could be with anybody don't doubt anybody because i'm hearing i don't know Lulu, i don't know who this person is well don't think too much into it and if you like leave it down below in the comment section and we can figure out who I, I will do a pick a card sometime next week or maybe this week i don't know do you let me know if you really want to in the comment section of who is sending you Eva, who is trying to uh, interfere in my relationships or any pick a card like that let me know down below but know that you're fully protected but even so spirit wants you to know that you always have to do your part so you can take spiritual baths you can light up candles for protection you can use palo santo incense um you know holy water um you can also do um spell protection spells affirmations whatever it is that you're into but do it for you and your partner. Make sure your partner is also involved because he's part of you. So if anything's been sent to him, it's going to be sent to you too. So he needs to be fully protected. Don't leave him out on this, okay? Or her. Don't let them, don't let, don't make them feel like they left out on this. Make them feel like they're included, okay? Because I feel like a lot of you guys might feel afraid of your person, like, what they might think of say of you telling them you need a spiritual bath don't be afraid baby get to it know that that if they know that evil eye and spiritual things are that are bad are being sent to them they're also going to want to be fully protected so don't ever doubt that or think otherwise of anybody let go of that fear because that's something that this third party wants you to feel with your person so remember that and you know know that your person also needs protection fully so if you can like some way somewhere you know you you know your person more than i do but just find the best method and the best way for them to be involved in the situation and for them to do also some spiritual protecting which is that would they could be affirmation or just you helping them hear out some songs out where they get protected from, you know, hearing these songs. There's all types of different ways and methods. All right, guys, I went far and beyond, and I hope you guys enjoyed this and you found some type of clarity. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the vibes with your girl. Comment down below how, if this resonated, and don't forget to hit the like button. I hope to see you on the next one, and I love you guys. Bless. Mwah.